Yeah, the Mediterranean. Yeah, Ridgewood. You're, yeah, I, I Mediterranean lived in Ridgewood people. for a while. You did? Yeah, Me for like too. a year and a half on Putnam Avenue. And there was a, a Montenegrin, um, right, a Chernogorsky uh, right. little store. It's That's called right. Europa. That's right. And they had amazing figs. Dude, wait, they wait, don't wait, have where? good figs. On uh, it's like that. Um, on Forest. M train. Well, yeah, on Forest Avenue. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And right next to it was a burek spot. Burek spot. Yeah, right? it's a Montenegrin dude selling burek, bro. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a Polish store. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Two of them. And, and my aunt's, bakery. My aunt's barber shop is there. Really? So that's oh, my that's aunt. cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I never went to that store, the Burek Bur- store. Oh my god, it's but like that, legendary really? Burek spot. Are you kidding me, dude? Legendary in New York. There's a grandma like, in it, there. It like <laughs> <laughs> There's a grandma in there rolling for <laughs> fillo sheets, bro. With her feet. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. No, no, but uh, I feel like legendary thing in New York is like it sounds very you know exciting, but like visually it's probably very underwhelming. I thought it's just like a. You know, some. I mean, you're not going thing. to a Burek spot for the visuals, I, bro. I, sh- I know, but I. Sh- I mean, you, <laughs> my you, point is like I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That's yeah, all I'm yeah. saying. Somebody would have showed me. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, like, it's it's. I guess the word gets spread out within that community, within you know the Balkan community. We knew. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. But I, I guess they don't tell others because I don't know. But uh, Burek is delicious. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? No, I never had it. Like, b- burek so is delicious. So burek, we have different burek. Well, what's your burek? Is it like spinach pie kind of thing? What is burek? Oh, well, I mean, we, you know, How do you make the that? Ottomans, they, they kind of held us down for a while. So we have their variation kind of mixed in a little bit with ours. What do you uh, put? What's the main one if I ordered the well, burek? Well, I mean, you know, the traditional it, it, you know, it's beef, I guess. Okay. The beef one. Mm-hmm. But so it's like a, like a little, like a pie or? Yeah. Okay, yeah. You yeah. can get a slice too. Slice, like, yeah. 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 But I mean, they make beef and then they make cheese. Mm-hmm. So like, if you and Jesus. the cheese is so you say Bosnian top pizza. Notch. That's what top in notch. America you would say probably. Yeah, I, I don't know if it equates to be honest because it, it, a burek feels like more like mountain food. Like it's heavier, meaning yeah. that you know like you you go out there, you do some physical labor, you're working on the farm, you're doing whatever, and then you come back, you need to get fed. This is this is the this is what we got for you. Yeah, yeah. you know, like if you're you know, selling cell phones in a wireless store, like, in, <laughs> that doesn't... <laughs> well, in general, it's like um, our all our cultures, and including Italian food, right? It's uh, poor people's food, you know? It's like just to, to fill, your, fill yeah, you up, to a lot of bread. Up. Empty cars. Exactly, yeah, yeah. a lot of pasta, a lot of that kind of right. dough, a lot of bread, potatoes, like freaking Russians do potatoes with sour cream, right? Yeah. What can be like more... Filling and more like and heavier gribi, than that. Gribi, oh. Yeah, that's. I mean, you look at French food, then it's like more fancy and like you can get full with like. Do we have fancy food? We? Yeah, we. I don't think I feel Jari like I feel like fancy. we are very similar culture. Yeah, for sure, yeah, for yeah. sure. It's all po- pe- peasants' food, peasants' culture. <laughs> choba, but uh, choba, yeah. You say choba, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. our salad, our main salad is called choba. shepherd yeah, salad. Yeah, right? Choba salad, salad right? Shopska, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's I mean, that's what it is, you know. It's like, and it's delicious. It's you delicious. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, that's feta cheese and some for cucumbers sure. and for tomatoes. Sure. Okay, yeah, so I mean, in Azerbaijan, yeah, uh, if you have choban salad and you add feta, it's Greek salad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they've they've taken the monopoly on yeah. that. <laughs> Greeks for sure. Yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, Greeks food kind of also the same. To yeah, me. that's like the Mediterranean, yeah, Mediterranean Balkans, all that yeah, era, yeah, yeah, area, the yeah. southern. Yeah. I don't think there's anything fancy that we make. Like like Turks make it, like Turkey. But it's complex. Well, I don't I don't I guess. It's complex. No, it's fucking I don't wanna, complex. I, I don't cook it's a lot complex. of that stuff, yeah. It's complex because it has a lot of a uh, lot of variations, uh, a lot of variables when you're cooking, and then you got to combine these variables. Yeah. All these things got to come together nicely f- in order for you to produce something yeah. Well, that's Well, uh, yeah, of course. You yeah. you, you got to know what you're doing. Yeah. And there's a lot of like technologies yeah. that um so for example, like I'll be with one thing I can adamantly be uh like cocky about is like I haven't had any kebabs, kebabs outside of like Georgia and like Azerbaijan that is as good as ours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like I've tried Greek uh, Have you tried kebabs. Bosnian? No, I haven't. I would like to try. Dude, Chavapi. Yeah? I, have, I would like to try. I have my own too, bro. I have my um, own too. Yeah, well, you know, we, we should like, do a barbecue. Uh, <laughs> but, oh, oh, like, look at you. Like, all came out all the... Now I'm getting, I'm going to get aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to come No, but, 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 but here's the thing, right? Like, I've tried Greek 
uh, kebabs. Not yeah, no way, no way. From a guy. No a guy way. was like, oh, I know how to do it. No it way. It was trash. No way. It was literally trash. No I was like, there's no way you think this is good, right? And it was chicken one, which is like yeah. the easiest one to make. Yeah. And it wasn't good. Now, we make lamb, right? I would say Georgians really do well pork. Uh-huh. We don't eat pork. So, uh, because we're Muslims. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. We have the same. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But we make amazing lamb, right? Yeah, yeah lamb. And uh, we use, uh, I don't know, so they use uh, um, the type of lamb we have back there, have kurduk, which is like the type of fat uh-huh. there. From the lamb? Exactly. Yeah, like yeah, the, 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 the The kind, the breed they have in America, they don't yeah, have it. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, so we actually, like, yeah. like, every time my friends or somebody goes to Azerbaijan, we ask them to bring some of that, some of that. And I have a funny story where when my mom came from Azerbaijan, she brought some, right? And <laughs> Hidden in the... <laughs> no, 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 I hid it in, in, in a suitcase. Uh-huh. But the suitcase got lost for three weeks. When it came back... It didn't have that. No, it smelled... Like a dead body, it's been traveling for three weeks. God knows where. Like I thought, they took the good stuff. No, they, <laughs> that's something. That's what they wanted to get rid of it. Probably right away. We had to throw away <laughs> everything. Sentence. It was insanity. I've never smelled that kind of smell ever in my life. And it was like a, you know, like a few kilograms. So it was just fat. It was just pieces of fat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. And it's you cook it. You cook it with. Uh, you have oh, to put I'm, it together, yeah, yeah, and it's like I, I cook that way, bro. So I use we. Fat. We use that fat. We make uh, that fat kebab. Yeah. Just we cut it, cut it in pieces, small pieces, and we make it crunchy. And it's literally just pieces of fat that you eat. Like they're like croutons, you know, and they're like phenomenal. Well, yeah. Uh, so like we eat the pig a lot in Bosnia. Right, right, so right. we cut the bacon and we fry it in this huge okay, pot, go. and right. they get super, super deep fried, crispy chunks of bacon. Yeah. And. We eat that stuff. It's just pure fat, bro. Pure fat, yeah. 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 But I mean, again, in, 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 in areas where you're physically way more active, it makes sense. Yeah, true. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Like you need energy. Yeah. But our people still more fat somehow still. <laughs> like, I mean, I know what you mean. I but... don't need it, but I want it. Yeah. yeah. Right, well, I'm well. there too, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't in, know. in Astoria, they have a very nice butcher. Uh, Munkan is this Romanian Balkan dude. And he has a bunch of different shops and he has very nice, we call them trots. Yeah. It's just these like piece of yeah. fried pig. Like pigs. Fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I'm telling you, I like I make really good lamb. I would like to make but, okay, the, the so work with you. When you say time. kebabs, like yeah. uh, my understanding is that we make these little uh, these little sausage links. Okay. So like ground stuff? Ground, right? Mm-hmm. We, we ground it and we mix meat usually. And then down there in the Balkans, like it varies uh, like city by city. The technique, the ingredients, the recipe, it, it varies. And everybody has their own take on it. And it's like this, it's like this heavy stuff, man. Like you don't mess with this stuff, like, you know? And... um so I don't know what could like is that this, so, this is what you mean so by I kebabs. Guess, so let's uh, you know let's talk about it. So we make <laughs> we make the ground one, uh-huh, the ground. Uh-huh. We call it lula kebab, right? Uh-huh, which is a little yeah. different, right? Uh, now the regular kebab, which you would you would expect, you can make like a lamb chop, right? You, not a chop, like a, a ribs. You uh-huh. can make ribs. That's uh-huh. a separate thing. Now uh, the standard kebab that you would assume what it is is just pieces of lamb. So actual just pieces, no uh, bones or anything, just uh-huh. pure pieces of, yeah. And it might have like a little fat here and uh-huh. there, but for most of just meat. Uh-huh. And it's all about the marinade, right? It's all about how you marinate how it, you, it, you know, juicy. how do you get it juicy? How do you not overcook it? Like, and it just, you know, that's... That's 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 really it. And then you grill, I guess. You grill it yeah. on the skewers. The skewers. You yeah. have to put it a certain way always, you know, especially if you have the fat to work with. See, you know, this is the, what I'm saying. Like this is complex stuff. It's, it is complex yeah. for sure. And, and, and then like you when go, you do ribs, it's it's very easy to overcook them. So you usually use the bones as a skillet technically. So you always make the bones on the on the bottom. You never just do it like like every time I see Americans do barbecue, it's like fire in the air. It's like Smoke. we never have fire. If you have fire, you're doing something wrong, wrong yeah, right? Yeah, you yeah. you you're making it the dry. Heat, the heat you're drying is no it good, out. Yeah. Exactly. So you have to. So see, now look yeah. how you, you have to have this pretty good understanding of how heat works, which is you know thermodynamics. Yeah. So like, <laughs> so it's complex as shit, man. Cooking is yeah, not sure. this. No, it's I not agree. this like simple task that, yeah. like, yeah, you can do it, right? You can cook. But how to get this thing to come out 
in this yeah. f- form that you envisioned and then it tastes good and all this other stuff. I mean, that's complex stuff. Man. For sure. But I feel like we kind of, we did it throughout generations. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because we, yeah, we have right? a history. We have, right. we have so much data on how to do yeah. this stuff. But then we did it instinctively at first. But then the great minds who actually know physics and chemistry, they use that to enhance the experience right and they were like oh, okay no you know what we've been doing this naturally but this is why it tastes like this and i like this yeah, 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 you know so yeah. it got on like you know to the next level different then. level of yeah. extraction yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what that is yeah. like my uncle he makes really good kebabs and honestly i learned a lot from him and he's a anesthesiologist he's like a smart guy okay and you talk to him he's like one of the smartest people you ever you ever meet because Every conversation you so, have. So yeah, it makes sense that he knows kebabs. Exactly. exactly. So he uses, literally, you talk to him, he only uses like physics to and figure chemistry it out. to yeah. figure out how to uh, do uh, it. Uh, like, and... Uh, but because it's matter. It's yeah. matter, dude. You're working with matter. Right? Yeah, exactly. I, yes, you do eat it, but you're working with matter. And I mean, there's many levels of extraction when you look at this thing, right? Molecules, atoms. I mean, you, you, if you go further, right, yeah. Right. The quantum level, whatever. Like, I mean... There's many, and you got to understand how all of these things come together in order for you to produce something that we're all going to. Yeah. So what do you guys drink? So I had wonderful kebabs okay. in my restaurant. Mm-hmm. Oh, the one you had. In the story of Sasha. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. We had, oh. I would like to try because I haven't I mean, tried. I mean, it wasn't my recipe. We not had Turkey, just not Israel, not uh, any of the uh, uh, Africa. The like Balkans, the, baby. You sure, I'll Balkans. try. I would love to try. Balkans. Yeah, Chavapi, sure. baby. That's sure. I would love to try. Tell me a good restaurant. I'm, I'll, I'll go like a Bosnian restaurant or around here. I mean, anywhere. So in, in, story, yeah, in, New York in, in New York City, Kafana is the place to go. In Kafana? Lower East Side, yeah. Kafana, Lower East Side, yeah. Okay, it's this, it's this Serbian spot that has live music, and they also have Chavapi and Pleskovica is another thing, which is basically the same kind of meat mixture, right? But in a in a hamburger patty. So mm-hmm. it's our take on the hamburger. Okay. Kind. Yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah, I love hamburgers. Which, but you know, we do a little bit differently. We don't. We don't there's no fancy stuff with us. It's just bread and meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like let's get you know, let's, sure. Let's get what we need and let's get out of here. <laughs> it's like Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, yeah. I, I love bread Philly and meat. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just so so fun. Yeah, it's like you can put tomatoes. <laughs> so maybe I mean, I love Philly. Che- a good Philly cheesesteak yeah. is like fucking amazing, or like yeah. Cuban sandwich or something. Yeah, I love like a good thing like that. What do you guys drink? What is your like thing? Oh, rakia, man. Rakia. What is that? Rakia. Oh, rakia. Oh, is it yeah. like the Turkish, the anis vodka? Well, yeah. I mean, you know, so the Balkans, you know, like this Ottoman rule of 500 years left its, like, left its yeah. influences, right, you know? Right, yeah. Right. So, rakia. So is it anis stuff? Is with the vodka with anis? No, is it's, it uh, it? I mean, it depends it's in, in the regions where I'm about, right? It's Slivovica, which is this plum brandy. Right. Oh, okay. It's it's from plums. From plums. Yeah, man. We do Jesus. plums. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, and it's and it's potent and it's <laughs> yeah. You know, and my first experience was around five or six. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you know how the village experiences. <laughs> they were they were making it one day. We had these machines. You know, everybody kind of in the village had a machine how to make uh, alcohol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, it, it was strange. Yeah, stuff. they yeah, make yeah. their own stuff. Yeah, man. And, uh, yeah, like we, it was just like making stuff and I was playing around the house and it was dripping and I was like interested in what tasted yeah. like. So <laughs> I got, I got shit faced like five or six years old on super strong plum brandy. That's funny. Um, brain damaging. Brain damaging. You know what we did once? <laughs> so in prisons in Russia, they, uh-huh. uh, drink something called chifir. Which is a very concentrated tea, please. Uh, okay. And uh, and I mean, like, it's literally in a small pot. Uh-huh. Uh, but it has alcohol. No. So here's the thing: like, you cook, <laughs> you you brew tea, uh-huh. the whole bag of tea, uh-huh. in like a small amount of, you know, uh, it's, potent. it's just potent. It's like the it's the it's impossible. To, it's like it's almost like gravy by the end. So what happens? What you cook of? it for like three hours. You got a, a crazy headache where it's like you almost high. Like you high with a headache. We've done it once. We were like sixteen years old. My parents like went away or like fifteen. Let's do my it. My parents. <laughs> my parents went away. All you need is just a, a bag of tea, and that's what they do in prison. 
supposedly to get messed up because, to, to because escape. that's all they have exactly yeah. that's all they have to to tea is allowed yeah. And so they would just made their super their, potent tea. Exactly. Yeah. But that's like Russian clever. stuff. Clever. Clever. But it's like, I thought I'm going to just throw up. Like, <laughs> because, because we cooked it for two hours, for three hours. And then it was like, like a little shot for each three people. Yeah. We did like a regular size teapot. At the end, you have three. That's little, how we do coffee in the Balkans. Oh, Turkish really? coffee. Oh, yeah. Gee. Well, right. Well, you I guys do Turkish, Turkish, yeah, yeah, we do Turkish coffee. But Same shit. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Yeah. It's, like, it's like this like little thing little and thing, it's yeah. gel. Yeah, and then yeah. you're like, yeah. Yeah, right. oh. Turkish coffee is nice though. I, think it's like, <laughs> I have Turkish coffee at home. I make it sometimes. So, so okay. So, what what makes it Turkish? Like, what what is this that we're talking about? That well, makes it it's Turkish? made in Turkey. <laughs> no, but you All make right. it. No, 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 right. no, 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 no. No, I mean, like, to me, you, it's 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 the viscosity, it's the thickness of it. The thickness. Yeah. yeah. No, I know what you're talking about, and it's like you make it in a small pot. Yeah. Like I have it, like the whole set, and it's home. like gel. It's it comes not, out gel. Right. It's like espresso, just... but isn't how much different is from espresso? Is it a little thicker than espresso? 